guys, this is Sheldon from Sac City. Uh, today we got in a, a non-running car, but we're just gonna double check and make sure that it's actually not running. So right now we're gonna hook a jumper up to it, go, th go through a couple things and uh, make sure that it either is or isn't running. But this front end on this car is super clean and we have this other car over here uh, that has like light damage. So we're gonna be taking uh, basically hood, core support, headlights, front bumper, uh, front fenders off of that car to kind of complete this car and then this car will be going up for sale There's really no critical damage on this one Like of course more broken, but like even the crash bar is fine. So frame rails are good and yeah, let's get going All right, so basically we uh, we put the jump pack on it uh, let the battery get back to a, like a healthy charge and then put it up put it on the 200 amp start and basically it just cranks the whole time. So we're reading the codes right now uh, just to try and figure out why it's not starting. So what we figured out is uh, there's electrically a problem. So either ECU, IPDM, somewhere in the, somewhere in between there, uh, it's not letting the engine fully start. The engine is good, cranks over, trans is good. So at least we have that. We're gonna start taking all this stuff apart to put onto the other car.
right, so today we just finished up the rear end of the car, like the exhaust, taillights, bumper, the rear plastics, all that stuff. Uh, we're at like a starting point now, so we just started it. We're trying to bleed the system. If you've worked with Z's before, you know that it's a pain to bleed these cars, but there's a few little tricks uh, that you can do, like the bleeder thing that we have right there. Uh, it gets the coolant level higher, uh, so that's one thing that makes things easier. And then there's also a... Uh, it's like a, I don't know the correct term for it, but by the firewall, there's a, a screw that you can undo out of the, like the, the cooling system and it'll bleed air out of it. So basically you just loosen that up and wait for all the air to come out of it. And then coolant will start coming out. You tighten that back up and then you kind of just wait. And that's where we're at right now. Um, got the heater on. Everything is looking pretty good though. So, it uh, looks like the coolant's all done, everything checks out good. Uh, we still have a bad battery, uh, we haven't changed that yet, that's kind of the easiest last thing we're going to do. So right now we do have a, a battery tender uh, to start it, we're going to go for a test drive and hopefully it's all good. So we're in the car, uh, driving it down the street. Everything seems good. Trans is fantastic. Temps are great. All the gauges still work. I mean, clearly there's a little things we have to do still, like windshield, obviously, you can see. And then this door panel is not here. That handle's broken. Just a few small things, and then this car should be great. Um, I do hear like a little clicking in the background back there. Uh, just sounds like something minor so we'll figure that out but temps are great all the gauges work we need to put wiper fluid in i should probably put my seatbelt on but other than that we're we're doing really good test drive went great uh yeah the car is fantastic we're gonna go through like a little brake and light check right now just to make sure headlights work taillights work and blinkers hazards windshield wipers rear windshield wiper uh, we have to put windshield washer fluid in the reservoir so that sprayer won't work, but other than that, let's check some stuff. So, there should be headlights. Yep, good. The brights? Good. Left blinker? Good. Right blinker? Yep. Hazards? Solid. And the uh, windshield wipers? Yep. And then the back windshield wiper? The back windshield wiper works? Cool. Lights on right now? Uh, yeah, they're on. Good. Left blinker. Good. And we'll do right blinker. Good. And hazards. Yep. All works. Yeah. So yeah, that's uh, that's everything for light wise. And now we're gonna move on to the interior. Get this panel on, the window switch on, that door handle on. Uh, the windshield guy is coming today, so I'll pull these off for him. And the car's ready. Remember how I said we just had to fix the door panels? Well, we put the door panels on. They're right there. And then the windows wouldn't work. So we're like, oh, let's just change this a window switch. Okay, so after three window switches later per side, we're like, okay, let's change a regulator. Wasn't the regulator. I've been working on Z's for 10 years now and I've never seen this fail. There is a little module down here. 
I'm not sure what the name of it is, but this module is a very, very specific module. And if you look right here, we have three more of these modules that we've pulled out of other cars. Two of these cars were out of the same year, or two of these modules were out of the same year. This one is a 40B, this one is a 00A, and this one is also a 00A. One from an HR, one from a rev up. The one that we need is a 40A. Come to find out, if you have the wrong one of those in, your windows will work, but your car won't start. So now we gotta find another module for that and then the car will be done. We're gonna finish finish this up on Monday and I'll see you then. What's up guys? Uh, we just got the body control module back in and windows work. I'll show you right now. Uh, it does kind of look kind of funny just because uh, I took the A-pillars off, everything seals right, but in order to take the windshield off, you have to take the A-pillars off. But I'll show you that the windshield works now, or the, that the windows work now. So they both go down. And they both go up. So it's crazy, I've never, I've never seen that fail on a on a Z before, but good thing we have sprayers everywhere to find, and it was a simple fix. And once once the windshield's done, the car is going to be ready for its new owner. So the new crispy windshield is on, looking beautiful. Uh, it was missing some plastics in the engine bay, so we gathered those up. Got to put the windshield wipers back on, blah, blah, blah. So that'll finish up the engine bay plastics and then go to the inside of the car. All we need to do is grab uh, just this handle right here and put some plastics on, give it a good detail, and it's going to be ready for one of you.
car just got back from the detailer. It is literally mint. It looks like a brand new car off the lot. But yeah, we did a lot of work to this. Changed fenders, hood, bumpers, core supports, headlights, radiator, rear bumper, taillights. Uh, we added a ton of interior pieces, a ton of engine bay plastics, and that's how it looks. Everything works. We already, we already checked that on that first test drive, like lights and the gears and everything. The car is mint, and it looks, it looks damn good. All right, that's going to end today's video. I think we ended it on a great note. We have a beautiful car. And uh, comment down below if you want to see anything different or things in the next episodes. But, yeah, see you in the next video.